Hey, what's up, everybody? This is King L. Bay. I'm going to do a short video telling you why you need, um, why do you need the Ghost in the System and to be a membership, have a private membership with Must. And it's very important that you understand what's going on when you're dealing with, with, with us and you understand how important. The reason why I did created this it's not just because I wanted to just declare nationality and get some of, get some of my freedoms and get um, my self identity back being a more but I wanted I wanted to create something that sustained members and people I wanted to build a community of people who not only know that their mores can protect their rights but stable an economy so that we can flourish so that we don't uh, we don't have uh, we don't have to be compromised anymore about our way of life and our well being and our way of thinking because a lot of times when you poor you compromise your morality your way of thinking and the way you do things and it's really sickening to the spirit spirit and a lot of this cause of disease, it cause um, a lot of mental and physical ailments that now you see prevalent in our in our communities based upon a lot of these factors. So when you get the package with ghosts in the system, I teach you how to contract. But the, one of the things about contracting and the things that we like to do, we like to help people build businesses, become creative. So I'm just going to give you a run through about some of the clauses, like insolvency and bankruptcy clause when you're dealing with, when you go, when you're dealing with um, um, corporations, stuff that need to be in there, um, breach of duty, and stuff like that. Now this force, um, I can't say it. Well, I was trying to say it again. It's more um, wire, some kind of French word. I can't. But this is like if there's a time of war, what you can do, what you expect them to do with. Um, um, so like somebody take care, of, try the foreigners. You can do certain things or uh, start to get ready to do certain things, like put all your money in gold to be able to hide money and stuff like that. Um, we're going to talk about confidentiality, intellectual property, stuff that needs to go in there in those clauses. I'm not, I'm going to keep it pushing. Uh, publicity clause, you got to understand that. Waivers. What constitute a razor? What constitutes termination for a breach? And all of these things that need to be in the contract terms. When you talk about royalties, um, and some of like in some of my contracts, you got it's, it's just certain words you got you can't get tricked up on, and not to, so you got to understand wages. Um, employees and all of those different terms to get you caught up. And what I love about Ghost in the System, once you learn some of this practicality, now you can start trying to put your family to work. Uh, one of the things that I'm going to do for my children is I'm going to create them a business this year and I'm going to be able to allow my children an uh, infrastructure and start trying to help them develop to make money and teach them some of the things based upon what I've learned and about contract law. So now they can have some things and now they can utilize this stuff and they can understand that they can use these practices and understanding the public and the private because what they did was they masqueraded they what they did was they took a corporation and laid it over um, the the states um, and controlled that by um, being able to say that's their jurisdiction. So you got to understand the public is nothing but a front for the private, 
and they know and they figured out ways to contract so they found loopholes to get themselves out of um, situations so they can avoid any type of prosecution or persecution under what they're doing okay let's talk about remember before I talked about there's a such thing as a public church and a private church now this is tax exemptions now I understand how to get your tax exemptions so I told you I'm not gonna go over that I got a video I talk about in the video if you become uh, you go to the must system I talk about why you need to contact the tax commissioner why he's important and to get this stuff for your congregation and for you to get your reciprocity by making certain claims and putting that in there and having your stuff acquiesce to the commissioner and then doing it to other people so you won't get taxed these are this is very vital into understanding how you need to move and what goes in the system we understand that we understand how to separate yourself publicly and privately and how to create businesses to create businesses and that's what we we trying to do and we're going to talk about why is your name the most important so look brand okay branding is the probably the most important and with your logo the most important reason brand is important to a business is because it is how a company gets recognition and most known to the consumer the logo is the most important element of branding especially where there is a factor is concerned as it is essentially the face of the company so you gotta understand like your intellectual property your name is attached to everything so you want to protect it that's the most important reason you understand when you talk about nationality your, your national you, to be nationalized and nationalism is that when you become the landlord of your estates then no one can charge you rights for utilizing your um, your land but this is how they got around that they understood how to incorporate and create a corporate fiction in which then they created jurisdictions districts charters and territories in which now they say they control on the basis of that and but but they use private companies to manufacture and give to public companies and the public buy these things from the private and which the private make how the private make their money you just got to understand public and private and how they don't mix for its business the most of the time the private is selling to the public corporations and they're making their money on the back end on that deal and a lot of the stuff that you gotta understand is um, how a lot of this stuff work and we're gonna teach you how to get your exemptions how to utilize and make these claims and put everything down for proper perspective you know I think a lot of people don't understand that this is what we've been doing this is my life work so um, like I said we're going to fade to black um, I'm just not going to deal with a lot of the shenanigans in the in the community a lot of the different uh, conscious communities uh, we, we I'm trying to help people grow and understand why we need to grow um, and um, why you can get a chance to be a part of something that I believe that's going to be great you have to start understanding what 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 the goal was I wasn't thinking about me because I learned for example I learned with without there's no you with with without you there's no me what I mean is if at the end of the day 
if I'm the last person on the planet, there's no other black female or no other, there's no other black woman around. We cannot repopulate. We cannot grow. You got to understand the cycle. When there is no you, when I talk about there is, there is no me without you, is I'm talking about identifying with people who share the same customs, ideas. When people are so um, individualized, they cannot share the same customs, ideas, so they will not think and everything will become a conflict and you cannot compromise because you're not thinking on the same wavelength. You've got to understand the importance of that. And if you don't have that, you will have chaos. And then with chaos come with destruction. So you will just actually destroy yourself and your people when you don't understand these principles or philosophies. So the thing about this is you have to have the same ideology and theology on the basis of survival and understanding what's important for you and the people around you that you, you consider and call love and family. You have to work, and if you don't, what's going to happen, you're going to tear down the infrastructure and break up the family. This is this basic principles that we need to understand. So my job is to bring enough people in that look like me, that come from the background, and sister or background I do. We get back on board. We align ourselves up, back up with not only with the Most High, but with the ancestors to start understanding genera generational wealth, taking care of the environment in which we live to ensure that we can have an enriched, prosper future and be able to have vitality as we move forward. We got to understand this stuff. So this is this ghost in the system is, a ve is very important. Because it teaches you how to stay private, but also it helps you understand how you need to enter the public. But the beautiful thing is now we're talking about contracts, we're talking about franchises, we're talking about businesses to be able to employ your family and not stress yourself out trying to get, make it to a 9 to 5 when you can try to figure out a way to manage your life, your family, and create an infrastructure where you can thrive. Okay, let's go here. We're going to talk about minimal contacts because this is where a lot of people are going to get in trouble. It, now, let's read what minimal contacts is. It says, if jurisdiction in the case is, is in personum or quasi in ram over a person or property or a debt by a person, the court may not exercise that jurisdiction unless the defendant has minimum contact within the state which the court cites for the form state generally the requirement of minimum contacts mean that the defendant has taken action where personally directed towards for um towards the form state such may include among others selling goods in the state being incorporated in the state visiting the state or having or, or, or bringing property in the state now I did a video I got a video in there and I talk about I think it's under 8 USC I can't remember the rest of the code but it tells you how they get jurisdiction if you are resident if you domicile if you have property or if you have a business in the state, you have committed a minimal contact. So you got to understand what you're doing with private property. Private property is for the exclusion of others. It's not meant for the public or for government to regulate or other government agencies. Let me explain to you 
what the strong man is. It's an agent because I did a video the other just yesterday talking about. Let me see what else. Let me go here about the instrumentalities. Instrumentalities of interstate commerce. The instrumentalities of interstate commerce categories include people as well as vehicles and machines. How do they get this? Instruments. Let's go look up instruments. And it should be on here. Instruments. It's, it's, when I look it up in Black Laws. It's, it's contracts. Contract instruments is that is that contract is an agreement between two or more people. Once again, contract instruments. So when we're talking about these instruments and you're talking about these straw persons, you are the surety for the straw person because there is no money. So you have to understand this. You have to understand this. When they create you these documents, these birth certificates, social security cards, all these instrumentalities, credit cards, other things, you have to understand you just signed up. You just signed yourself up. So you got to understand what to do when dealing with these instruments. So you got to understand that contracts are what they're talking about in a form of regulation of commerce. And then they have a thing called Intra state commerce versus inter state commerce to be considered interstate commerce, either the vehicle is passing or cargo must cross a state boundary or there must be intent to cross state boundaries to be considered interstate carrier versus intrastate commerce is a trade-off or traffic or transportation within a single state so you got to do business within the state so Federal jurisdiction is limited due to the fact that most of the business go with goes in the state and they get their jurisdiction by things going into the state and coming out of the state, passing from one state to another. So it's dealing with the transportation of goods from one state to another. So they have limited jurisdiction because once stuff get into a particular jurisdiction, it tends to go um and settle into that jurisdiction but most of the time everything got to come into the state so you got to understand the language the so you got to understand what they did they did constructive language to get you to abandon your state or agree or acquiesce to a contract they use once again constructive language. So, what, when you get with King L. Bay, we're trying to enhance your ability to understand what to do, how to contract, how to safeguard. Let's go here, contractual safeguards. Just gonna show you. I got all this stuff on video. Contractual safe 
safeguards. And this is actually a form of due process. Contractual safeguards constitute an important component of non-equity alliance which generally have weaker or fewer control mechanism than equity alliances. Contractual safeguard can curb opportunities through two mechanisms. So when you have contractual safeguards, when you have these contractual safeguards, it says law, a clause in the contract that ensures the protection of something against a problem. So when you understand this information, you can do better. This is King L. Bay signing out. Love and peace to everybody who's watching these videos. And I'm talking to you, showing you why you need Ghost in the System and learning how to contract. Peace and love.